I don't think people realise how important this work is. I mean, I wouldn't be doing it um, if it wasn't really, if you didn't have the potential to make a difference. And I think that's true of all the staff and all the parents and families here. They do believe it's making a difference. The cost of one child in the care system is something, I think Demos worked out 350,000, something like that, over 14 years. I mean, it's incredibly expensive if children go into care, apart from the human cost. Um, because children rarely recover from that experience. So it, you, when you do your maths, you've got to, do you, do you say it's worth doing fabulously intensive preventative work like this? Because the, uh, the cost to society is just so huge if you don't do it. The proposed cut to Payne Green is of 1.1 million, which is about 50% of our, 56% of our budget. For us, obviously, that would be devastating. To take more than half of your budget means that you are um, taking staffing, taking services. Some of the provision that would, um, would possibly go um, would be highly intensive work with the family and with the child. We've had many families who have had that level of support where it's been identified additional input is needed, close work with the family, and we know and we have the evidence to show that actually none of those families have then gone into statutory social services care and the prognosis for those families when they're first referred to us is that that is a very likely outcome. If that was taken away or diluted, what we actually fear is that the number of families who would then enter the statutory service would be higher. We went to the cemetery and there was a young woman who was, you know, she could have been using any of the four children's centres in Corby, but actually she had two young babies, uh, two young children, and she was going to the cemetery because in the cemetery was her dead baby and, and, and her brother who'd hung himself and he'd been a nursery child. So, I mean, like, that's where she was spending her time. So all these wonderful buildings and all these amazing paraphernalia at children's services were not reaching families like that. We failed that child once, that parent once, when she was a child. We can't fail, sorry, I just find it so emotional, we can't fail her again. When I came to this community, all the statistics were that Corby was, um, uh, was, it, it, was in a, it was in a hopeless place, it was a place without hope. penguin has been part of, of making something of Corby and it's been amazing to see the regeneration of the town in the last 27 years. It's not just about the children that we've prevented from going into care and the enormous costs of going into care, but it's the cost of, of not providing a service like this would be um, children continuing to be factory fodder, continuing to be in no hope jobs, um, instead of which these are children who are good citizens, actively involved in supporting others within their community. If you truly harness a community's energy um, for doing a project like this, um, then you will get amazing returns, returns that you could never have envisaged. They big, they big up localism and they big up big society, but actually the big society is here in Corby. People are prepared to give and support other people. If people care about services, they will fight for those services, and so they should.